Well, a couple of people have asked me about the Griffin and Sabine books by Nick Bantock, so I thought I'd show you my set of them. I have these five and actually this one, which is also an extra copy of the first one, which I have definitely heavily uh, used and taken stuff out of, so it's missing a lot of pages. But this one is complete. So the first three books are kind of a, a like a saga. Um, the story of Griffin and Sabine, two characters, and you really ought to read these books because they're very interesting. Two characters who had a relationship through their correspondence back and forth. So it involves a lot of, he would write letters and she would send postcards. And just let me show you a little bit of what's inside of them. So here's the first one. And... Uh, I just found all the pages to be so interesting. This one, I think, is 1991. So it's just full of these interesting pictures and images. Uh, this is a postcard from Sabine to Griffin. And then his correspondence to her. And then just all these interesting pictures. I'll just flip through it so you can kind of see what's in there. So many interesting images. And then here's the part that really got me the first time I saw this book was the envelopes. And the envelopes have these letters inside that were written by Sabine to Griffin. So I just think that's so cool. I mean, when I first saw these books, I really wasn't a journaler. I've used this image before in my in the old book, but when I got these, I just there was something about them that just really uh, fascinated me. So more images and letters. Here's another envelope with a letter inside. I used this picture in the uh, in the candy box journal. And so there's another letter in here. And there's these interesting pictures. Nick Bantock is the artist. He created the book, and I mean, he did everything. He wrote the story, and he did the artwork. And he just creates these. These are all imaginary places. Um, in the Sikman Islands in the South Pacific, that's where Sabine lives. lives. And, and Griffin lives in London. And there's just such cool pictures in here. And then, uh, so the end of this book kind of leaves you hanging. So then, of course, when I found the other books in the set, I immediately grabbed them. I just looked at this, look at this end paper. Isn't that gorgeous? And just let me tell you a little bit about Nick Bantock. It says, Nick Bantock is an artist, illustrator, writer, and creator of pop-up books. Among his other books are, There Was an Old Lady, Jabberwocky, and Griffin and Sabine. Born in England in 1949, he now lives with his wife and four children on an island off Vancouver. So this one, I have not used any of the stuff in it, but wow, you know, such cool stuff. And then Another letter, maps, so his name is Nick Bantock, B-A-N-T-O-C-K, so if you want to look him up at Thrift Books or someplace like that where they sell used books. Uh, a lot of people get these, and they look through them, and then they, you know, put them in book sales. That's how I got mine. Here's another envelope. Look at this one. There's such interesting artwork. And look at that, look at that beautiful envelope. 
<laughs> and inside is this. These books are from the 90s, um, so I'm not sure about the copyright issues with them. I figure once I own something, it's mine, and uh, I can do with it what, as I wish. So that's the second book in the series. And here's the third, The Golden Mean. And this one, um, I think they finally meet. I don't want to give it all away. But just these pictures are just have so, there's such fantasy in them. Beautiful pictures. Isn't that gorgeous? I haven't actually taken one of these apart yet and used it in a journal, but you know, I could someday. It's very possible. I kind of actually had forgotten about them, sort of. <laughs> so when I started doing the candy journal, the candy box journal, I thought, well, I would like to use some of those pictures from there. So I got out the old one, which I've already cut up a lot and I haven't cut into these yet. Look at the stamps. Another envelope. Just has a few pictures on. Okay, then, uh, then later these two books came out. They're also by Nick Bantock, The Venetian's Wife and the Museum of Purgatory. And this is a tale of a Renaissance explorer, a computer, and a metamorphosis. So this one has beautiful papers in it too. Uh, I guess I, I won't flip through every single one, but there's Nick Bantock, the artist. Lots of blank pages back here. So this one doesn't have the letters in it and but it still has some really nice artwork. If you like things that are kind of a little unusual and strange, which I do. So that's this one. And then I think I might have taken a few pages out of this one, the Museum at Purgatory. Because I think I remember cutting out some of these. So... The animals at this um, Natural History Museum are all, yeah, see there's a page missing. Tobacco cards. So anyway, um, so for those of you who are wondering about that book, the books, here they are. And I suggest you do like an Amazon search if you wanna get some of these. Um, I just love art books. Love to use them. I like looking at them. And just look at these all these borders on these pages. Aren't those beautiful? 
And then there was a little envelope in here, and I don't remember what was in it because it's gone now. I think I used it. Okay, so there they are, in case you were wondering. Thanks for watching.